back or if you are new welcome <laughs> Today, we're going to be doing the one and only Jennifer Lopez. We're going to do a J-Lo look. Have I done a J-Lo look? Have I? But today, you've just seen the photo. I'm going to put it up again. We're going to go for a signature smoky eye. She's all about the glow, all about the gloss. I'm excited to get my J-Lo on. There's not really much more I can say. We're just going to do a J-Lo look. And it's, it's going to go good. It's going to look good. If you haven't already, hit subscribe down below. Oh, my little face in the corner. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, we're gonna start by putting the clips in. We need to make sure we can really get to the face, you know? The clips are secured. Now. We have a lot of makeup. For our base, like our primer, obviously moisturizer and all that stuff, already on. We are set to go on that. We're first of all gonna get rid of our pores because Jennifer Lawrence has no flaws. That rhymed and I loved every second of it. We're gonna use our e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer just in the T-zones that we don't have any pores, any flaws. We want to be bronze, we want to be glowy. Okay, so we're gonna use the L'Oreal bronzing, bronzing drops, highlighting drops. This is what we are using. And we're gonna pop some just on the outer part of it. Oh, that's gonna drip everywhere. There we go, gonna do that. Gonna blend it with the brush. Now for our foundation, we're gonna use the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Foam. Full coverage foundation in shade F5. Oh, get the hair out the face first. I always have to stop myself from painting my face. Blend it with a brush. I always forget how much I enjoy this foundation when I haven't used it for a little bit. As always, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. I do feel little dots down there. I'm gonna highlight. Now I'm going to put some underneath here, just to help keep that bit there bright. And I'm going to use the 16 hour camera concealer like the other one in the shade Fair Warm. Although this one is lighter, even though they've got the same shade name. I'm going to pop a bit of this under the eyes and have blend with a rush. Okay, because we've got such a full coverage foundation on and like a lot of concealer, I'm going to stick to powder products for like the rest of it, just so it doesn't start to feel so heavy with all the cream stuff. You know, that's that's how I feel. You might feel like it's the other way around, like powder makes it heavier. I'm using the RCMA No Colour Powder, by the way. I'm just going to get rid of all my creasing first. I'm going to use my little poofy pad, press it under the eyes. I'm just going to take a brush now. Just press this into the T-zone. Now, for the cheek area and the sides of the forehead, we're going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the Glow version. Why is my hand doing that? That looked weird. <laughs> Big old fluffy brush, just to keep, you know, the glow going on. But we're nice and set in place. And it also has a bit of bronze to it. <gasps> is the sun coming out? Tomorrow. There'll be sun. There'll be sun. I set my eyelids. We'll just do it now quickly. <laughs> and dropped powder everywhere. We are going to do some contour. We're going to do our, there's fluff everywhere. We're going to do our jawline. Remember the first time I contoured? I was in school. I remember walking around school that day feeling like a model. Definitely was not. I was, um, it was very much a bowling ball. It was very much like, it was that kind of situation, you know? But you know, it made me feel good on the inside. I thought I looked like that girl. No one tell her. No one tell her because we're gonna ruin her confidence. She doesn't need that. We're gonna do our cheekbones as well. Just because J-Lo is, we want to be also. Now we're gonna take a little brush like this and we're gonna contour the nose down the side, the other side. <laughs> For anyone that's watched any of my videos before, you can probably guess the rest of my face routine. Well, you've probably guessed up until now anyway, but we are gonna go on with some of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And we're gonna pop this back here. Get the forehead. Okay, for blush, she has a little bit of like a pinky, but also a bit of like a corally look to it. So I'm gonna 
I'm going to take this one here and mix with a little bit of this one. And this she keeps like here. Seagulls make me laugh. They just sound like they're laughing. For glow, I'm going to go into the Dior palette. I'm going to take majority gold, but a little bit of that one there just to add a bit more like, you know, why do I say for everything? It means sculpt. Thick. I need to add a bit more oomph. That's the word, oomph. I'm going to add it up here. A bit above the brow and this brow. She's actually got some in the middle of the forehead as well, which is scary, but we'll do it anyway. Now I'm going to take a little pointy brush. Same thing again with the colours. Do a little dot on the end of the nose. And then up here. Does she go all the way down? She goes like halfway down. Okay, now we're just going to do our brows, get them done and dusted. So I'm going to use the Primark brow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. Just brush them through first. Okay, you can still see- I need to sharpen this. Give me a moment. Do it into the makeup bag, shall we? I haven't got my bin at hand. It's all the way over there. Don't act like you don't do it too. Okay, now we're in motion. We're gonna do a line underneath the front. I pretty much do my brows the same every time. You can see that she's got some like gaps in between her eyebrows. Like she hasn't done them too much, but I haven't got gaps in my eyebrows. Like in between the hairs, like here. It's cause she's got fair hair. Like she's got like fair colored hair. On her eyebrows, mine are pretty dark. So I'm just gonna use my normal technique. And then brush it through the front with the spoolie. Okay, it's eyes time. We're gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette because I feel like it's got all the neutrals I could need, right? Could be wrong, could be mistaken, but we're gonna start here. First of all, we're gonna go through the crease with this one up here on a little like fluffy brush. And we're gonna just pop this in the crease. Just as our little transition shade, you know, get the ball rolling a bit. Gonna add this through the front of the brow. Just so everything flows nicely together. Add a little bit under the eye. Help with that situation. Now we're going to grab this brown here on a different brush, like a slightly smaller. Going to pop this on the outer part of the crease and on the eyelid. Use whatever's left on the brush just to take it underneath the eye slightly. Okay, now same brush. I'm going to go into this brown here with a bit of this like ready bricky colour. We're gonna add this to the outer part and kind of blend it in. Now we need to like darken this up but also make it a little bit more cool toned. So we're gonna go into like this brown here, a bit of this one. We're gonna add this to the outer part of the eye. Okay now we need to start adding in some of the shimmery shades so we're gonna stick with this palette again take this brush because it's the it's the closest thing i have to a flat shader brush right now that's not got bright orange on it so i'm <laughs> gonna take this one i'm gonna go into this color here and we're gonna add this to the outer part of the eye take it underneath the eye i'm gonna use this to go all the way in now i'm gonna take this brush and we're gonna go into my highlighting palette and just take the gold with a little bit of the white. I'm going to do this on the inner part of the eye and then take this brush, same thing again, get the inner corner and then draw it underneath the eye too. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. eyeliner pencil, this is a brown one, and we're going to pop this in the waterline. And now we're going to line the upper lash line with the Rimmel London Ink Me Eyeliner. We're going to do like a little inner corner point and then the tiniest little wing. Now we are going to curl our eyelashes. And now use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. The waterproof version. Also just going to take some on the lower lashes. For lips I'm going to start with the Obsession lip liner in the shade Hookup. 
Can I start just overlining in the center? Blend it with my finger. Then I'm going to take the lip liner from NYX in the shade Natural. I'm going to use this to line the outsides. Then I'm going to use this lip crayon from Laura Mercier in the shade Vibe. Colour in the outer heart. Leaving the inside of my lips there in their natural colour. And then lastly, we're going to use some of this Barry M Lip Plumpy Gloss just over the entire lip. And then we're going to set it all in place with the PS Sunset Bean Coconut Primer Water. And this is the finished makeup look. I think this is the first time in a long time that I've done like a, like a proper full on makeup look. Like, you know, full coverage, all that stuff. Where I've come out of it like, I enjoy this. I like this. You know, um, this piece of hair needs to calm down. Thank you. It's just a go-to, isn't it? But this is very like, just bronzy, glowy. I feel like anybody could pull this off, right? Obviously, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stating here that I'm pulling it off as much as JLo does. But I like it. I feel like it's very easy to do as well, isn't it? I didn't have any mistakes. I don't think, I don't, I don't mean I didn't have to bring out a wet wipe. That's, that's a plus. I'm a happy girl. <laughs> that's all I can say. JLo, you've nailed it. My hair's getting stuck in my gloss. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world and so much more. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I shall see you in the next video.